Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Virtual Triton Talk. My name is Lila, and today I am joined by a member of the men's golf team here at Eckerd, Tim Shaw. Hi, Tim. Hey, how's it going? So Tim, like many of our student athletes, you come to Eckerd from abroad, from Germany. So what has been the toughest part about adjusting to life in America? Um, what Something that definitely helped me was the fact that it wasn't the first time in the US for me. Um, I had traveled uh, to the United States with my family before, so it wasn't all that new for me. But it's definitely a different lifestyle in the United States. Um, the toughest thing was probably driving. Uh, I feel like in the United States, I don't know whether it's just a Florida thing, but nobody really follows the rules. <laughs> Everybody just drives like however they want to. That's a little different in Germany. Um, but other than that, um, it wasn't all that hard. Um, yeah. Speaking of Germany, we were told you were part of a state team in Germany when you were younger. Can you tell us a little bit more about uh, the state team and your experience on it? Yeah, of course. Uh, similar to the United States, Germany is divided into states. Um, there's 16. Of course, they're, of course, they're all a little smaller than the U.S. because the country is a lot smaller. Um, and every state has their own, yeah, you could say team, with usually the best, like, 10 players in the team. Um, and we, we would come together and practice usually once a week, especially in the winter. Um, and, yeah, uh, practice, play tournaments together. And I would say through the, the state team, I probably played my, my favorite tournament that I played so far. Um, it was like a national state championship where all the, the state teams play each other. Um, and that, that, that was an unbelievable experience and a, and a lot of fun, like playing against the best players from the country and competing with them. I'm also told you enjoy skiing in the Alps, which is pretty impressive. Can you describe your experiences skiing there? Uh, yeah, I, I love skiing during the winter, um, especially here in Germany where you, where you can't play golf during, during the winter, not really, you can only practice. Um, so it's like, I've been skiing pretty much my whole life. Um, it's been almost a tradition to go skiing once a year, although it's quite far from where I live, but um, we, we try to do it at least once a year. Um, and it's just, just we, can, we go with the family, we go with, uh, with friends. And um, yeah, I, I love this, the speed, the action. It's qu quite the opposite from golf, where you like try to be calm. Um, in skiing, you can have some speed, some action. Um, so that's probably why I like it that much. There's like the balance with golf. Um, so, so yeah, I would love to do that during the winter here. About how many times have you been there and do you have a favorite course? Uh, yeah, as I said, we, we try to go every year. So probably I would say around 15, 20 times now. Um, and we, we try to go to a different uh, ski resort every, every year pretty much. Um, so I, I've seen quite, quite many. Um, I would say my, my favorite one though is in Austria called Saalbach Hinterglem. Um, it's, it's a massive ski resort with uh, hundreds of miles of, um, of slopes from all difficulties. There's the, the easy ones um, where you can like work on your technique, but there's also the, the tougher ones that, that really challenge you. So um, I, I, I love that ski resort. It's one of the few where we went uh, more than once. So Tim, you do very well in the classroom, not just on the golf course. So can you share some tips on how you succeed in the classroom as well as golf? Um, yeah, for me, there's probably two major things. Uh, the first one that probably every athlete knows about is time management. Um, of course, there has to be the time where you work out, um, are with the team and, and do stuff for your sport. But then there also has to be the set time um, for studying and in that time you actually have to study like focus don't be distracted it's easy nowadays to to go on your phone swipe through Instagram and it never stops but um, you have those like focus time slots um, and then another thing is probably um, going to class it, it sounds pretty pretty simple but um, yeah just go to class and actually be present and don't be distracted and um, for me, that's probably the time I, I, I learned the most. And it's something I value a lot as I'm a golfer and I miss a lot of class. 
um, but if you actually pay attention, focus in class, it um, saves you a lot of time that you don't have to um, uh, spend on studying for the subject outside of the class. So. Lastly, and we ask this to everyone, but what's your favorite part about Eckerd? Uh, I would say probably the entire Eckerd community, especially the, the student athlete body within it. Um, it's so diverse and people from all over the world that are kind of in a similar situation that I'm in, um, being so far away from home. Um, yeah, they, they always support me. We're always there for each other and create our home away from home uh, in a way. Um, and then, yeah, I, I met so many awesome people that I know I'll have a friendship with, with for a lifetime. And then of course the beach isn't bad either. All right, thank you for joining us, Tim. And I'll see all of you guys in another episode of Triton Talk. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye.